ashes, or had ashes imposed on them, uh, first of all, it reminds us of our mortality, that uh, we are um, sinful creatures who, um, in sinning, have uh, incurred a, the death penalty from our holy God. And so that reminds us that we come from dust and we're going to return to dust. But uh, also tonight, um, we're going to receive that sign of ashes in the sign of a cross, reminding us that in Christ, at the cross, is where all of our sins die and we have life in him. And so it reminds us of our mortality and it also reminds us of our uh, confession and our forgiveness in, in Christ. So may we all be blessed through that. Um, for this first part, you may remain seated or if you would rather kneel, uh, we're going to read the Confession Psalm, Psalm 51. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God. According to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Truly, I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew our steadfast spirit within me. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. In the Bible, dust and ashes carry a twofold meaning as a sign of human mortality and as a sign of public repentance. We read from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said to the man, By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. We receive the ashes as a sign of our mortality. We read from the book of Daniel. I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. We and our kings, our princes and our ancestors are covered with shame, Lord, because we've sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. We receive the ashes as a sign of our repentance. We can form two lines to come forward for uh, receiving the ashes. You can receive the ashes either on your forehead or on your uh, wrist. Just uh, If you'd like it on your wrist, just stick out your wrist or uh, lean your head forward if you'd like them on your forehead. And you can go back on the sides.
Accomplish in us, O oh God, the work of your salvation. By the cross and suffering of your Son, O oh Lord. The Almighty God does not desire the death of sinners, but rather that they turn from their wickedness and live. He brings us forgiveness and life through His Son, Jesus Christ. During these days of Lent, let us implore God to give us renewal and His Holy Spirit. May we continue to abide in the true faith and at last be received by Him through the merits of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.